I have another game I want to go ahead and show you all, and this one is going to be Colony on the map Bedrock. I am on supply side, and this is going to be interesting. This is probably one of my top tier Colony games that I have played, and so I want to go ahead and show that off. And I'm going to immediately go after these supplies that we're going to go ahead and see here. I'm playing as Colony, I got a teammate playing as Serena. And I forgot who our third teammate is. I didn't get to see that screen fast enough. But we're going to go after all the supply that is over there. We're still going to open up with supply gen. Hopefully the enemy isn't trying to take those supplies. And it looks like I'm good to go in that regard. So I am opening up with triple supply here. That's because I'm going to go probably more supply heavy early. In regards to probably skitters, engineers, or choppers. Just one of the two. Since there's also many bases for me to go ahead and grab. So making that extra chopper to go ahead and get the extra supplies is working out in this regard. I'm going to be able to grab everything that I want. And we're going to end up having a, a decent early game in regards to the amount of supplies we're getting. So we're making our second gen. We're getting our second mini base. I mean our first gen. Getting our second mini base and we're going to be able to get the supplies that are around our side of the map now that we got everything at mid. And then I'm going to go ahead and use that chopper to see if they've grabbed that mini and then hopefully end up scouting as well. And so perfectly timed build. We got our gen up. We got that mini base up as well. And so this is a pretty good early early game play that we saw there. So making another harvester over there. And there you go. Yellow is showing a raid camp right away. And I have more of an economy build, so we're going to see how that plays out in this regard. I'm going to immediately self-destruct that and go Apex. Does look like Orange does get the mini base with the sensor tower and has a barracks as well. So, so far, two of them are showing early infantry play. I'm going to start my skitter production, and now we're going to go ahead and scout Red as well with that final chopper. So they were able to grab that mini that's located over there. And Red is going for console, so... We will go ahead and try and scout that last remaining mini base. And now we're going to start producing some skitters. We're going to start producing some engineers. And maybe we'll produce some additional choppers. We'll go ahead and see. And so Red doesn't show anything else. It's just a supply pad. It's nothing too serious. I did end up pinging there, which is, you know, it's a move. And so um, we're going to just start up just trying to get ourselves a decently sized army. We're not going to go hero at the very beginning of this game. Mainly because hero is pretty slow to get everything out with colony and i think he's more better of a mid game player than early game and so there we go we already see some grunts with some elite enforcers over here which will become a problem down the line so i am using the choppers to go ahead and try and chip off as much damage as i can from the enemy i do a little bit of micro between both units and so now we're going to go ahead and fall back a little bit that is a lot for us to go ahead and handle, but we do want to try and chip off as much as possible. So the plan here is, is to try and just get our choppers upgraded, get as many as we can, and see what we can do about it. So they are going after the node, and with this I'm going to go ahead and keep trying to just pick on the enemy as much as I can without having to overcommit. So Vortex Lightning is going down, which means our other teammate is Decimus. Teleport does go down behind us. Waimu gets popped for our engineer as a whole. We're going to get some rams in and we're going to start trying to retreat our army as well. It is an all right engagement. We do have another engineer that did show up and these choppers are doing good amount of damage and work over here. So that is looking good in that regard, but we did lose one of our skitter engineers unfortunately. But we do have a level 1 skitter that we see and we do have the majority of our army able to clear out this elite enforcer grunt army that we see that's going on over here. And so that's a pretty good early game start that we want to see as a whole. More rams are coming in. And this does look like an engagement that we are going to go ahead and win. No idea where that engineer went. There he is. We're going to go ahead and bring him back. Our choppers are getting low in health, but it is just a good engagement all in all. We cleared everything that yellow had for the early game. And it's something where it could have definitely spiraled out of control. So we're falling back for now because our choppers are hurt pretty badly. So we want to go ahead and get some heals in in regards to that. And then we want to also be able to... Uh, just regroup as a whole and see if we can get another engagement going. And so skitter production is continuing. Engineers are still going. We forgot to upgrade one of our gens. We're going to upgrade the rest of our supply pads. And so now we're just resetting. We had an opportunity to go to tech one, but we said we're not going to go ahead and do that yet. So we're going to go ahead and see if we could take any of the nodes. We're going to put a grunt on hold position on that left hand side so we can go ahead and grab that second base if possible. 
And now let's see if we can go ahead and grab this node. So I did notice that there were some units on the high ground over here. So we want to go ahead and take those units out. I use that grunt to go ahead and capture what is on mid. So still making skitters. We still have grunts going. And now we're going to go ahead and see if a second base is being established. And we want to see if we do some pressure on this left hand side as well. So chopper's coming in to scout. No second base so far. We do see some elite enforcers over here. So we're going to go ahead and try and get an engagement with these choppers that we have going on with skitters. The elite enforcers are pretty much going to get taken out pretty well. And so now Red's army has shown up. So I am getting ready to go ahead and pop a heal. But looks like we didn't have to. 100 Brand is going to go down against all that infantry there. Now we're getting some rams in as well. Cleansing Beam is going down as well by our Decimus. And pretty much everything that Orange has had has been destroyed. So this second base is going to come up really nicely, actually. That's the yellow space over there. That's a little bit of a misread read on my side. So we're going to clear out the remainder of this army over here, but we don't really have a second base just yet, which means we're going to have to fall back and see if yellow has grabbed his other base that's right by him. If not, we're going to go ahead and see if we can counter and take back our what is supposed to be our second base. So it does look like he's taking both of them. And so we're going to go ahead and upgrade the tech too. We are floating a little bit of supplies, but we're going to use that grunt to take that node. We're going to go ahead and self-destruct to start getting our war console up since we are approaching tech two. This is our time to go ahead and try and get our units up. A Y move does, Y move, uh, an ability does go down by Arbiter to do a little bit of damage, the plasma torpedo. But we're still focusing down on the base and it does look like he doesn't really have much of an army to go ahead and stop this from happening. And so we have now reached Tech 2, and it's kind of funny how both those units were in hold position. They never engaged each other, but I'm now in Tech 2. Hunter Captain is being made. We're upgrading our skitters. We're making double foundry. So we can go ahead and double produce vehicles. And we're still going to be producing skitters along the way. And so Orange is trying to show up with some reinforcements with some Cyclops. It does counter me, but I think I'll still be able to go ahead and try and take out this base that's happening over here. So we're going to do a little bit of microing and... Good thing we started moving right away because the vortex is going down. So we're going to start losing units. And now we got to go for a full scale retreat. That vortex did a lot of work to us. A heavy metal gets popped on their side because we were trying to pop a vortex ourselves as well. If I'm not mistaken, our teammate has shown up with some more hogs to help clear out that base at the bottom. So all in all, I don't really feel too bad about my situation. We're going to start making some locusts. We're still making some skitters. And now we're going to just try and fall back and hold this position that we have going on over here and take out this base so I can go ahead and establish a second base. Colony is now out, which is always a good sign. We're going to make that raid camp in order to make some elite enforcers to go after those Cyclops. And so now we're transitioning over to mid game. I think the early game was relatively good. We have all power nodes, which is always exceptional to have. We've been all over the map so far. We've taken out a lot of army so far with what we've gone with our comp. And now we're going to go ahead and move our infantry and hold position to that second base that yellow is supposed to get the one that we just recently second recently took taken care of and so elite engineer swarm is ready we're getting siphon overcharged so we do have to be careful in regards to when we choose to engage and there goes the marauders that are happening on this right side so he's going marauders as his transition and so we're going to go ahead and see if we can get any sort of pressure on this side of the lane and so we do have Hunter Brand that's going to be back up and there goes Orange already setting up and so I'm going to have to go ahead and retreat. This is not really an engagement. That is a lot of Cyclops that's going on over there. He does TP right on me which is a move and so I'm just going to go ahead and get another good Hunter Brand. Will it go down? It looks like it went down. Yes it did. That was a lot of damage. And with our units that are still alive in the back, we still have Colony that's just going to sit there and try and soak up as much damage as possible, dish out all the damage that it possibly can. The Locust is moving a little bit more forward than what we would like, but it does look like we are killing a lot of the units. Remember, this is a 2v1 situation with orange and yellow happening on our lane for whatever reason that may be. And so we're still trying to get our second base established and also keep this pressure going as a whole. We get another Skitter set up. We do have Elite Rangers set up as well, and it, this does look like this is a fight that we can take. So we're going to go ahead and focus down on Yellow's base, see if they're going to go ahead and try and stop that from happening. There goes more of his army over here, and so we're going to go ahead and start retreating. It does look like we get a Cleansing Beam that's going down on our side, getting rid of some of Orange. Great Cleansing Beam by our teammates, pushing out Orange and dealing a lot of damage in that regards. 
we're still trying to focus on our economy while there's a fight that's still happening over here. And so we do have one skitter. Ooh, just got taken out. But we still have an elite of rangers still doing a great job. We do want to see if we can do something about this situation. But I'm trying to take out the base. I want to. And boom, we got the base. Now we can go ahead and retreat a bit because there is siege. That means we should get ourselves an apex in order to go ahead and start dealing with these siege and get some shroud up. And so... All in all, things are still going relatively well. Our comp is still looking relatively strong. And now we're going to go ahead and see if we can go after those siege that was sitting there as a whole. And so Orange is starting to retreat. And that's going to be my cue to go ahead and just keep pushing the left hand side since Orange is starting to retreat. And meanwhile, like there's a whole fight going on on the right hand side with red and light blue and dark blue. But... Right now, I'm just very, very focused on what's happening on my side to see if I can go ahead and capitalize on this momentum that has been created by excellent leader abilities by my teammate and some good play by my colony as a whole. And so, Orange is coming back up here to try and deal with me, and it's a good, it's a good sized army. So, TP comes in the back with two elite enforcers. Their Kodiaks go back down, so they're sieging like crazy. So, this is going to be my cue where I have to start retreating. Heavy metal gets popped as well. So I'm trying to hold this position as best as possible, but this is a lot. So we're going to keep on slowly retreating. It does look like he's gone with vehicles with yellow. Another hunter brand is coming down. And now we got ourselves a vortex as well, which is going to help out to clear out the remaining of the nightingales. Because that's our biggest problem. Our reaver just survived, and that's going to be just enough to get rid of both nightingales. And now that he's alive, we get rid of the forge hog as well. So pretty much everything's got taken care of, but both of our armies have been reset. On that lane so yellow doesn't really have much and orange just practically lost all his important units and so he is trying to do something with his wraith and with the small army that he has to see if i fell back or not but clearly i didn't i'm holding this position to the best of my ability we're making more reavers we now have some hunters as well just because we want to deal with the wraiths that we see and now we're going to go ahead and start with the next stage so we're going with combat repair because we're too far away to go for a colony drop and now we're going to go ahead and see if we can apply pressure and start dealing damage on yellow's main base so there is no shield generator so this is a good time for us to try and do something about it i am making a shield gen there i could make army but i just want to make sure that if something happens like a flank or something i'll be able to deal with that and so our shroud gets popped we're slowly stripping away from their army we're making more locusts because we need building damage and we're just trying to pressure as best as we can orange is being busy with dark blue and light blue has a scarab that's dealing with red on that side we're going to go ahead and send a grunt to go ahead and scare a scarab capture that left node and now at this point we're just here to just keep stripping the base we don't have enough dps to actually focus down on the base as a whole we're still going to go ahead and get reinforcements we're going to also get some turrets defensively just in case so we can go ahead and stay ahead but looking at this match definitely could go a little bit stronger in the army creation since i'm not at max pop yet but now we're going to go ahead and just start focusing down the main base the base is locked and so this is something that we will have to be aware of that is why i am sitting right in front of the base so when the time comes i will be ready to handle whatever gets dropped out and so it does look like nothing's being made right now for the foundry and this game looks like it's pretty much over so there's still a little bit of time left in this match so we're gonna see if something else gets done as a whole but it does look like it's pretty much over dc villain has pretty much given up and now we're gonna have our building damage with skitters on them showing up and that's gonna go ahead and take that out as a whole so oh look at that it actually turns out there was a expansion base at the bottom that's probably why orange didn't show up I mean, yellow didn't make anything because it was focusing on that base, and orange ended up self-destructing as well. And there goes this game. So, I thought this was a very cool game to go ahead and show. I did not open up with leader. I went with choppers. I went with skitters. I went with engineers. Kept my early grunts alive. Awesome condor right there. And used them to capture the nodes. We stopped the elite enforcer grunt train from getting too big, and we were able to do a lot of damage on that, which was magnificent. And so all in all, 
We even handled excellent 2v1 situation, but of course we had great leader abilities coming down by my teammates. If that did not happen, I probably would have been in a very tough situation or have lost that lane entirely because of that 2v1 because I have a habit of over committing. So Engineering Swarm is coming down to help protect the Scarab and keep it alive as much as possible. Hunter Brand is going down as well. It does look like Red is trying to put up a, as good as, of a fight as possible. It does look like this Scarab is going to actually go down. We got the leader coming in with the stuns. And there it goes. Leader ability gets popped as well for the Decimus drop on our side. And so I guess Red wants to go ahead and get a little bit of a satisfactory win here with the destroying of the Scarab. I'm going to go ahead and call in a TP to go ahead and help out with the Locust and deal some damage from afar. But all in all, as I mentioned, this game, I think it was just worth showing the awesome early game, awesome mid game, the constant pressure, how we handled the yellow expanding three times on our side. We got a very stinky base and we stopped that from happening too. With not much of a strong army, mind you, right? I had nothing but choppers and engineers. And fortunately, we were put up in a situation where we were able to be successful with that. So, Victory hope you enjoyed this one. I thought this one, as I mentioned before, was a pretty cool game as a whole. This was an all level 99 game. And so I went 19 for 55. Our teammate Serena went 17 for 50. Our teammate Decimus went 7 for 43. And then the enemy Red went 64 for 21. Yellow. And that's the one where I did a very good job against them. 41 units lost and only 4 units killed. And then orange, same situation. 45 units lost but only 17 units killed. So a very high efficient game as a whole by our team on all sides of the field. It's cool to see this 2v1 happen. And it's cool that I'm able to showcase that to you guys. So with that being said, hope you have a wonderful day. Hope you have a spectacular time. Hope you enjoyed this video. And until the next one... I will catch you all on the flip side, I guess, right? Yeah, so have a good one. Have a splendid one. Keep being awesome. Hope you enjoyed. And until next time, G out.